You're right lads, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing absolutely splendid. First of all, I wanted to say that um, I'm wearing a hat because my hair is a shambles right now and I don't really want to show that online. So lads, I've been doing a lot of reflecting recently, you know, thinking about what makes me happy and what I want to do with my life. And I wanted to make this video because of that. So today, I'm going to talk about how to be happy. And I want to establish that I'm not some next guru, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to give my opinion and hope that somebody cares and somebody benefits from it. So, yeah. Right, when someone asks us how we are, we very rarely say happy. We say I'm fine, I'm good, I'm all right, but we don't say happy. But when we talk to children, this is often the response. And this may be absolute waffle, but I wanted to use this as an example and a way to talk about happiness and how it's so unachievable these days. But first of all, uh, please subscribe because, you know, I will make your life so much better. Will I? Maybe not. I don't know, but do subscribe and like. Yeah, cheers. Nice one. When we are children, the world is so exciting. We wake up every day, we learn new things, we experience new things. There's so much out there that we don't understand and learning about it is exciting, it's amazing. It's incredible. I, I don't, I don't, actually don't know what that was. We grow at an insane rate physically and psychologically and we learn and develop new things every single day. And in my opinion, this is why children are so happy. They're not burdened by social pressures alongside having all of these things that they can look forward to and be excited about. Growth and development are like so important in being happy and feeling content with your life. Because if you're in one spot forever, it is so boring. It's not exciting, there's no way to grow and develop and therefore you're not happy, you're not excited about what you're doing every single day and this really is an issue. So in my opinion, happiness is a combination of factors. An ability to deal with stress, an ability to have goals and be pursuing something alongside feelings of excitement and joy and other short-term pleasures. <laughs> said pleasures. So if we have the ability to cope with all of our stresses, if we have a purpose and a long-term goal to be chasing, alongside those dopamine influxes we get when we feel joy, when we feel excitement, I think we're happy. And you know, it is easy to say and easy to talk about, but much harder to do. And I wanna talk about that. I think the society that we live in today makes it so, so difficult to be happy. Let's take children, for example, again. Well, let's not actually take children, because you know, that's a bit, it's a bit dodgy. But if you observe children, they're not aware of social pressures like having to look thin or having a good job and having lots of money. And they don't have to deal with all these stresses that we do as adults. They are constantly learning, constantly feeling joy and happiness and excitement. How can they not be happy? They have a goal of simply to keep learning, to keep developing, become an adult, usually become similar people to their parents. Now, undoubtedly, this is a very simplistic way to look at things. I'm not saying we should all act like children and not care about social pressures. Because when we grow up, there is social pressures that we need to consider and are important, such as having enough money to feed ourselves. But I also think it's important to realise that if you're adding to these pressures, if you're not able to cope with them, then you can't expect to be happy all too often. There are so many unnecessary social pressures, like trying to look good, like trying to have the most money out of all the people you know, having a nice car, having a nice house. These are not necessary pressures. And if you're not able to deal with them, well then we just need to move on from them. Society forces us to care more about what other people think than what we think about ourselves. It encourages us to stop learning and stop developing and just sit where we are and make money and try to impress people with what we have. Society tells us that not everyone can achieve our goals, which is true, but it also emphasizes that if you fail in chasing those goals, there is so many detrimental consequences, embarrassment, shame, poverty, it's awful. Not everyone will achieve these lifelong goals that they've had, but they need to keep pushing for them. That's what brings us happiness. The fear imposed on us from society is stronger than so many people's desire to achieve their goals, and therefore they become content with these jobs that they don't care about. They become content 
with chasing money and chasing new things and new clothes and they're, they're convincing themselves that that brings them happiness, but it's not the case. I'm not ignorant to how important money is in today's society, but I'm also not ignorant to how little happiness it can bring us. We're brainwashed into prioritizing money and if you think about it, it's not actually worth anything until we spend it. So instead of prioritizing money, prioritize what you're going to do with the money, the experiences you're going to have and the things you're going to buy. And don't buy things to impress other people as well. Just buy them for yourself. Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting so into this. I need to, to calm down. And I think there's a mentality that so many people would rather be rich and not as happy as they can be than poor and happy. And in my head, that just does not make any sense. The amount of pressure we are under to make money and to have money is crazy, in my opinion. Money can be used as a tool for happiness, but itself, it isn't happiness. It won't bring you happiness to see money in your account because maybe it will give you a little rush, a little joy, a little bit of excitement, but it's what you do with the money that's important. When you buy clothes, when you buy a new car, that's really not happiness. That's not gonna fulfill you with a purpose and a satisfaction. And because of the corporate society that we live in now, we're tricked into thinking it will. We need to utilize internal sources of happiness. And that doesn't come from cars and clothes and being better than other people. That comes from learning, developing, having goals and feeling excited every single day when you wake up. Look, I don't know the trick to being happy and I may have clickbaited a little bit with the title and the thumbnail, but I am just reflecting on the times that I have been the happiness and this is when I've been able to deal with my stresses, when I've been learning and developing and at a rapid rate and I've been achieving these goals that I've wanted to do forever. Like right now, without meaning to brag, I'm really happy. I'm learning so much with the surfing and the language and I'm constantly being challenged in this, in this job that I have teaching. And I'm also chasing these goals of helping other people and making other people happy because I'm making these videos and I'm trying to do new things so I can talk about these things and give lessons about these new things. What was I doing with my, with my hands there? I'm not really sure what that one was. I think what we all need to do a lot more is reflect. Reflect on what actually makes us happy and what brings us happiness, where we need to improve in our lives and what we can do to improve those things. If you don't have a job that is making you happy or if you're not surrounded by people that make you happy, well then you need to think about this, honestly. I think we've been convinced that happiness is a truly unachievable goal. And in some ways it is, there's not a threshold to achieve it, but it's definitely something we need to continue pursuing for. I feel great right now. I feel so happy, but I'm trying to get happier. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what I've achieved in this video, but I just wanted to rant a little bit because it's been playing on my mind. It's so frustrating because people can be so much happier than they are at the moment. And I know it's not easy and I know maybe I'm a little bit naive, but I genuinely think we can all be happier if we just try. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you soon and yeah, bye bye.